Our second scripture reading this morning is from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 7, verses 7 through 12. If you would like to follow that reading with me, please turn in your Bibles to page 1505, and at the bottom of the second column on that page, under the caption, Ask, Seek, and Knock, our lesson begins. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Here is the reading from the scripture. May God bless it to our understanding. Well, if the object of uh, this sermon this morning is to stir you up for the Olympics, to go for the gold, it's about a year and two or three weeks late for the summer games. But it's early, you got to admit, for the 2014 Winter Games. But that really is not the purpose of the sermon this morning. We have uh, had a lot of information lately about people who have gone for the gold. And when I read this passage from uh, the Gospel according to Matthew, from the Sermon on the Mount, I thought immediately that we ought to be going for the gold in the golden rule. You know, most athletes who go for the gold train very intensely for at least a year. Actually, their physical and mental conditioning becomes a lifestyle. And this goal of achieving the goal is before them constantly. Living our faith is not a part-time occupation. And like those athletes, we are to follow a lifestyle. I'm really implying that if you want to go for the gold and the golden rule, we all need to adopt the same personal discipline that the successful athletes follow in their pursuit of the gold in the Olympics. Now, I don't think it, 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 it is uh, uh, out of order for us to revisit this golden rule uh, and to revisit this matter periodically of how our faith is to be applied to our daily lives. Now, one of the striking things about this admonition of Jesus, which comes near the conclusion of the Sermon on the Mount, is that in one form or another, this has been around in religious and philosophical circles for a long time. As a matter of fact, the principle was first laid down in Jewish law. We read it this morning in the book of Leviticus. Not every saying was original with Jesus, but you can be sure that he repeated this one because it is truth with a capital T. In one form or another, this golden rule appears in the sacred writings of all the world's great religions. 
The fact that others have said it before and that some have said it since the time of our Lord does not diminish its truth or our obligation to take it seriously in our daily lives. So I think our faith compels us to go for the gold in the golden rule. Now there is a special quality and a context, if you will, to this saying as Jesus gave it. There is the call to make it the guiding principle, not only of our interpersonal relationships, but the core of our spirituality. Many people who espouse no religious ties whatsoever make this their favorite proverb. And they seem to feel somehow that it is a full substitute for religion. <coughs> I live by the golden rule, they say. Isn't that enough? But do they live by the golden rule as Jesus was teaching it here? And more importantly, do we live by the golden rule as Jesus was teaching? Is it the spiritual principle of the lives of non-worshipping people? For that matter, is it our guiding principle? See, going for the gold and the golden rule calls for more commitment than just, just a surface acceptance that this is a good saying and, we, and, and that we ought to try to practice it. Now we have to bear in mind, first and foremost, we have read it from our own holy scriptures, that this is a religious teaching. The immediate context of the golden rule as Jesus gave it to his followers is in discussing the relationship with the Lord our God. He begins this whole discussion by saying, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. We are in a relationship in which we depend upon the help and the goodness and the love of our Heavenly Father. In this passage, Jesus gives the assurance that our asking and our seeking will not be in vain. The Father will respond. He reminds us that even though we are not perfect, which the Father certainly is, that we know how to give good gifts to our children. Then he says, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Now the translation in this passage is good because there's an exclamation point at the end of that. Not a question mark, but an exclamation point, an affirmation. And then, seemingly out of the blue, he says, just right out of the blue, after knock, seek, knock, and the promise that the Father will respond, he says, out of the blue, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. All of those things we read together today from Leviticus, all of those laws, all of the teachings of the prophets calling people back to God, Jesus said, this sums up all 